Hello everyone, my name is Gwendolyn Halle and I'm a medical microbiologist certified in the UK. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, 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 you for sharing, for watching, for commenting on my videos and I promise you that I'll do my best to keep producing juicy, educational, inspiring uh, a, a post for you whether it has to do with skin care hair care hygiene uh, uh men's health women's health uh, um formulation of um of skincare products uh, i will do my best but don't forget to subscribe 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 and share i if you watch my former videos i i did a video on uh how to watch a vagina and today after so much request i am doing how to wash a manhood or how to wash a penis hallelujah now a manhood comprises of a penis and two testicles and it is very important to know how to clean up yourself and wash yourself for yourself first and first of all to the community or to your partner so you don't appear uncombed smelly and to yourself you don't have infections which will affect your partner if you're married or if you have a boyfriend or you have your kids and all those so it just helps you to be clean and to be able to love yourself more because if you are more into hygiene of yourself and you learn how to clean yourself it shows that you love yourself now what I have to say, the first thing I have to say is if you are un uncircumcised, you have to take your time to wash yourself clean. Clean, clean, clean. That does not mean those who are uh, 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 circumcised shouldn't clean up. But because you the foreskin on your penis comes and covers the cap of your penis, the tip of your penis. So that part where that is covered, it does in such a way that a lot of uh, 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 discharge or form of secretions or form of, of, of you know fluid begins to accumulate at that part and uh, it begins to cause infection and smelly in the long run so it's very important and whenever you wash you want to wash your penis if this is your penis and you want to wash and you are you are you are uh, you are not circumcised you have to pull the fourth skin like this so that you'll be able to wash this part very very important and if you are circumcised you have to wash your penis the same way now what i want to focus on is you have to wash yourself twice once with a body scrub or a body sponge and secondly with a form of towel now it's very important that you wash yourself if you are a male especially in between your testicles the sides of your testicles between your testicles and your thighs and that space that is between the testicles and your anus now many men are very hairy around that area especially around the anus so most men don't clean themselves properly and in the long run there's feces around that area now that feces around that area depending on how you pack whether you pack your penis going uh, in uh, going going backwards or towards your anus you find out that your penis begins to have the smell of feces so it's very important if you're not able to have good tissue paper to clean your anus properly you should be able to use uh wash it wash yourself after you pull or after you go to the toilet to do number two and also try to trim the hair that is around that area just cut it up a little bit so when you clean yourself um uh, you know it is it stays clean so when you wash those areas whether it's your anus or it's your it's your penis make sure you do it twice you first wash with a sponge wash very well and now when you wash with a towel form of towel it picks up it washes up a lot of the feces the sweat the secretions the dirt the dirt skins that may have been hidden let me say in certain areas of the body so that is very very important it is very important for a man to be neat and smell good down there thank you till next time god bless